In this Final Cut Pro 10 advanced lesson, we're going to look at how to make a slip edit. Slip edits allow you to keep a clip in the same position and keep the same length while letting you choose a different section of that same clip. Let's take a closer look at how slipping works. Before we get started, let's make sure that the Show Detailed Trimming Feedback option is selected in your Preferences. To check this, go to the Final Cut Pro menu and choose Preferences. Then, in the window that opens, click on the Editing option at the top. Look to see that the Show Detailed Trimming Feedback box is checked. Then, click on the red button in the top left corner to close this window. Now, go to the Tools pop-up menu and choose the Trim Tool. Your arrow cursor will change to a Trim Tool icon. Click in the center of the clip on the timeline that you want to slip. You should see yellow brackets appear around your clip. If you see a red bracket on one side, this means that there aren't any more frames for you to use in that direction. If you see red brackets on both sides, then you're already using all of that clip. Now, click and drag your mouse inside the clip to slip the shot to a different section. You should see two windows in your viewer. The window on the left displays the first frame of the clip that you're adjusting, and the window on the right displays the last frame of the same clip. Notice that the clip's position and duration haven't changed. Only the content of your adjusted clip has changed. When you're satisfied with the new in and out points, go back to the Tools pop-up menu and choose the Select tool again. In the next lesson, we're going to look at how to create a slide edit.